In this video, you're going to learn how to work with composition of functions when you're given a table. We're going to go through five examples together, so let's dive in. So we're given this table here, and we're trying to figure out, like, what is g of f of 1? So just a quick note about the notation. You'll see it written like this, like f of g of x. And the way I like to write it is in this notation right here, f of g of x. Because what you're doing is you're working from the inside out. So the way functions work is whatever's in the parentheses, that's like your input. That goes into the function. That's like your x value. And what comes out is this g of x. That's like the, the y value or the answer. You then take that y value. That's like the new input in the f function. And so basically what you're doing, it's like a double substitution. So let's look at some examples and you'll get a feel for how this works. So when we see g of f of 1, we're actually working from right to left, or the way I like to think of it as g of f of 1, working from the inside out like you learned when you did the PEMDAS or the order of operations. So we'd say if 1 is our input in our f function, so okay, we have here our x value, our input is 1. The output or the y value for our f function is going to be 0. So that means that this quantity here is 0. And now that becomes the input in our g function. So we say, okay, when x is 0, we go over to our g function. Oh, the output is negative 1, and we solved it. So it's really like, again, a double substitution. You're, you're solving, and then you're taking that answer, you're putting it into the next function, and you're solving. So let's go to number 2. Let's take a look at this one. So we have g of f of negative 1. So again, another way to think about this is writing it in a slightly different notation, g of f of negative 1. We start from the inside and we work our way out. So we say, okay, if negative 1 is our input in our f function, okay, x is negative 1, and then the output for our function is going to be 2. So this whole quantity is 2, and now you can see that that output becomes the input in our next function, our g function. So we go over here to x equals 2, and our g function, the output would be 3, so that means that this whole thing here now is equal to 3. So it's kind of like two steps. Just a quick refresher before we do the next problem. See, if you have a function like this, f of x equals 2x minus 1, if I say what's f of 4, see, whatever's in parentheses, that goes in for x on the right. So this would be 2 times 4 minus 1, which is 7. But in this case, they've done all that work for us in the table. They don't give us the actual equation. They just give us the inputs and the outputs for the f function and the g function. So let's look at number three now. So maybe you can try this one if you're getting the feel for it. f of g of 0. I like to rewrite it like this, f of g of 0, starting from the inside, working our way out. So we say, okay, when x is 0, the output in our g function is negative 1. And that negative 1 now becomes the input in our f function. So if x is negative 1, our y value, our output, is equal to 2. And we solved it. Two more. See if you can try these, 4 and 5. g of f of negative 2. So again, the order is important. It's like working from right to left. Or if you do it in this notation that I prefer, it's like from the inside out. So we say, okay, f of negative 2. So negative 2 is our input. Our output is going to be 3 for our f function. And now we go to our g function, we say if 3 is the input, what's the output for g? Oh, it's equal to 5, and we solved it. Last example, see if you can do this one, f of g of 1. So again, I like to rewrite it like this, f of g of 1. Uh, and we're putting 1 into our g function, so when x is 1, the output for g is going to be equal to 1. Now we go to our f function, we put in 1, so when x is 1, the output or the y value is going to be equal to 0. And we solved it. So great job. If you want to learn more about composition of functions, I'll put another video that I did talking about that right there. Follow me over to that video. We'll get some more practice. I'll see you there.